Will Mark Fergus's new Stargate series still respect canon or do something completely new? Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. So yesterday, Sidetrack once again dropped the news first that there was a big development in the universe of Stargate and that Mark Fergus's Penguin and a Parker company has won the race to be able to produce the new series. Mark Fergus will be the new showrunner. Now, a lot of people are extremely excited by this, but some people are a little nervous. And the main thing that seems to be causing nerves is whether this will be a hard reboot or a continuation of the story we love. Well, I have actually been telling you for well over a year, Amazon always seem to have a plan and they seem to want to follow something along the Star Trek model, where it'll be a sort of hybrid of canon. So my understanding is that when Amazon put out the call for people to pitch to Stargate, they basically said that they needed to respect the canon from the series of SG-1, SGU and SGA, but with a small caveat they would allow a certain element of modernization and they would allow a certain element of creative freedom with a new story. So what does that mean? Well, basically that means they are gonna be allowed to change some stuff. When I say the Star Trek model, I mean in that the new series will stand alone in lots of ways. They will be allowed to have maybe a slightly different style to the what we're used to. But to be honest, SGU was very different to SGA and SG-1. So that isn't really a major problem as far as I'm concerned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with all of your other Gator friends. Also, you can go to side-trek.com for brilliant Stargate-related merch, just like this. You can even buy socks and anything else you want. Please also don't forget the Sidetrek Sides channel. All of the links are in the description. But also, you have to remember that this is going to be on a streaming service, which is just completely different to what we had back in the day. So before we had 22 episodes, their budget was quite limited and they really relied on syndication to make any money. In this new series, however, we're going to get to see hopefully a much bigger budget than what we used to, but we will only see probably 10 or 12 episodes per season. But what we might get to see is two or even three seasons a year. So if we're lucky and this is successful, we might actually get to see a few different stories and a few different iterations of Stargate running together. A little bit like what Disney's done with Star Wars, where actually there's only ever a couple of months between a new Star Wars season. We might get to see something similarly with Stargate. Now, there is a big advantage of that. It means we get Stargate pretty much all year round instead of just a big solid, you know, five months of Stargate and then nothing for the rest of the year. So in that respect, I'm quite excited if, again, this is successful. So in that respect, this new series is going to have a slightly different style. It's a completely different format, and that is going to show on screen. In lots of ways, though, if it's a bigger budget, what we see on screen should be a lot richer, maybe a lot better. We're, we're talking much better special effects, etc. But it is going to feel different. And I, I do have to inject a little bit of reality into this. Now, a lot of people are saying they want... Brad right back. They want exactly the same sort of series as SG-1. And if it's not the same style, then they just won't watch it. Now, I'm a little bit disappointed by that. I think you're judging something before it's even been officially green lit. Never mind, made. And I'm just hopeful that we get something that honours the original series, but at the same time is sort of a modern take on that because audiences have changed. And the Stargate series, I'm sorry, it just cannot be aimed solely at Gators. It cannot be aimed solely at the fans that exist now, me and you watching these videos. It's got to, if it's going to be successful, attract a new audience as well. Now, they're going to very much have that in mind when they're creating this TV show. So if you sit down to watch the new Stargate series and all you're thinking about is SG-1, you are going to be disappointed. But if you sit down excited to see a new Stargate series, something fresh, something that respects the original canon, but maybe does it in a slightly new way, 
then hopefully we'll get to see a product that we can all be really excited about and all share. Now, don't get me wrong, not everyone's going to love the new Stargate. It's just not going to happen. Like, not everybody loved SGU. SGU is very much a Marmite sort of TV series for, you know, gators. People either love it or oh, not so much. So that's going to be the same. But we have to give this series a chance. It, like I said, there's got a long road ahead. It hasn't even been officially announced yet. But still, a lot of people are already saying they ain't going to watch it, which just uh, disappoints me. But what am I actually being told about what Mark Fergus plans to do in respect to canon? Now, for one, if you look at a lot of things that Mark Fergus has done in the past, and actually Matt's going to do a video on Tuesday where he does exactly that, he does seem to respect the audience and he does seem to respect the canon. He, with The Expanse, was very careful about respecting the original content. If you look at what he did with the Iron Man, I would say it's very much the same. So I'm not too afraid of that. Now, like in Iron Man and like in The Expanse, he's not afraid to do something quite brave either. So again, quite exciting. But he has been given a creative license by Amazon to make certain changes. This is why he did the content Bible and why Amazon have worked alongside him to do the content Bible for the new series. They have very, very strictly been able to say what you can change and what you can't. And there are certain things that just will not be changing. For one, Star Trek example again, changing the Klingons. Always pissed me off. It's just wrong and they shouldn't do it. My understanding is that key points of the original Stargate series will not be allowed to change. The Gold World will still be the Gold World. The Replicators will still be the Replicators. Even though we might see slightly different iterations of things like the replicators, but to be honest, we saw that June SG-1, they evolved, they changed. We will not see completely new makeovers for these series. For example, the whole Egyptian thing is still going to be there. They're not going to just eliminate something that really is key to the original series. Now, obviously, none of this has been written yet. None of this has even been... I mean, the development has barely even started. So we really don't know which way Mark Fergus is going to take this just yet. But as I say, my understanding and conversations I've had over the last 12 months is that Amazon really are respectful towards the TV audience. Roland Emmerich told us himself in an interview about six months ago that Amazon only cared about the TV audience. So I think we can safely say that they, even though we might see some creative differences, are not going to do any wholesale changes. They are not going to do a hard reboot. And everything that happened in SG-1, SGU, and SGA still did. And the return of certain characters is almost guaranteed. I can actually tell you right now that I know for a fact that Michael Shanks and Amanda Tapping have already had conversations and are very open to returning to Stargate, maybe only in small parts, but they will return. Now, those conversations with Brad Wright included Richard Dean Anderson. Now, as far as I'm aware, Richard Dean Anderson has not been approached by Amazon about returning yet, but that doesn't mean he won't. So guys, get in the comments and tell me exactly what you think. What are your fears about the new Stargate series? What are you excited about and what are you hopeful for? Let's have a bit of positivity. Let's start bringing the Gator community together. We don't need any more cynicism. We don't need any more fear. We just need to look forward to Stargate being back on our screens. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out. And if you enjoy the content, please consider becoming a fully fledged side tracker and hitting the join button. As always, please stay safe and I'll see you next time.